Hi everyone, welcome back to SG Doctor Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yiming. Myopia, commonly known as short-sightedness, is a very common condition where patients can see objects near to you, but objects further away are blurry. In 2050, a total of 4,758 million people worldwide, which is almost 50% of the world's population, are expected to be myopic. In Singapore, myopia is one of the biggest public health challenge. Surveys done locally indicated that myopia affects one in four seven-year-olds, one-third of nine-year-olds, and half of 12-year-olds. By 2050, it's projected that 80 to 90% of all Singaporean adults above 18 will be myopic. So this is a very big problem. In this video, I will share more on the causes of myopia, the signs and symptoms of identifying early myopia in your kids, lifestyle changes and medical treatments to prevent and delay onset of myopia. If you're new to our channel, click on the subscribe button now. Now let's take a look at the eye structure. The cornea is the clear dome-shaped front surface of your eye where light enters the eye. The lens is a clear structure about the size of an M&M candy that focuses the light that enters our eye. And retina is found right at the back of your eye to receive the light rays from the objects. So you know how it is when you use a projector. Think of the retina like the white screen, the lens like that small knob where you can turn to sharpen your image, and the cornea as the hole where the light is emitted. So myopia occurs when the eyeball is longer than normal or if the lens and the cornea is not evenly and smoothly curved, or in some cases a combination of both. This will result in the image being focused in front of the retina instead of directly on the retina. Evidence suggests that childhood myopia or short-sightedness is caused by a combination of genetic factors and environmental factors. We know that children of myopic parents are more likely to have myopia. But what are some of the other environmental factors that can result in increased risk of myopia? They include 1. Prolonged periods of detailed or close work such as reading and writing or computer and tablet usage. 2. Lack of time spent outdoors. What are some of the other telltale signs that your young child may be suffering from early myopia? You may find them squinting all the time when looking at distant objects or images. You realize that they are sitting closer and closer to the TV or moving to the front of the classroom to get a better view. Blinking excessively, rubbing his or her eyes frequently, seemingly unaware of distant objects. Myopia cannot be reversed or cured, but it can be prevented or slowed down. It is important to delay and slow down the onset and progression of myopia because children with high or severe myopia have higher risks of complications in future like retinal detachment, glaucoma, macular degeneration, and even blindness. I will share a few ways to achieve this. Firstly, practice good eye care habits. While near works such as schoolwork, working on computers or reading is unavoidable, ensuring that your child takes frequent breaks to rest he or her eyes. Take a break to rest the eyes every 30 to 40 minutes. Look out of the window at distant objects to relax the eyes. Hold any reading material 30cm away from the eyes and always read while sitting upright. Be seated at least 2 meters away when watching television. Computer screens or tablets should be placed 50 cm away from eyes and adjusted for minimal glare. Lighting should be sufficient to illuminate the room when reading, watching television, or using the computer and tablets. Secondly, more outdoor and physical activities. Findings from the Singapore cohort study of the risk factors for myopia revealed that outdoor activity could be protective against the development of myopia in children. The Sydney Myopia study presented in 2006 found that the prevalence of myopia in 6- and 7-year-old of Chinese ethnicity in Sydney was 3.3% as compared to that of 29.1% in Singapore. And the main reason for the difference was that children in Sydney spend about 4 times as much time outdoors than Singapore children and less or hardly any time on tuition. Regular outdoor time of 2 hours a day in young children prevents myopia and its progression by about 10-20%. to 20%. Thirdly, early detection. Now with best efforts to protect, practice good eye care habits and adopting more outdoor activities, your children may still develop myopia. The next best thing you can do for them is to detect it early and slow down the progression. And that can be done through yearly eye examinations. This is because corrective visual aids like spectacles when used early and appropriately can actually help the eyes focus better. 
There are also some interventions which can slow down the progression of myopia. Some examples include atropine eye drops and the use of special daily disposable contact lens. Take note that myopia cannot be prevented or improved by these methods, such as avoiding the use of spectacles, reducing the power of your glasses or undercorrecting your child's vision, taking dietary supplements like vitamin A, eye exercises, acupressure or vision training. So if ever in doubt, check with your family physician or eye specialist. Thanks for watching this video till the end. I hope this video can help you understand myopia better and learn ways to prevent or delay the progression of myopia in your child. Subscribe, like and share. Until the next time, stay safe and stay healthy.